the supersonic Concorde remains one of the most iconic and technologically advanced aircraft in aviation history. Renowned for its unmatched speed and luxurious service, the Concorde was a marvel of engineering and design. This small comprehensive report delves into the history, design, purpose, and performance of the Concorde, providing a detailed look at its legacy. The development of the Concorde began in the late 1950s as a collaborative effort between the British and French governments. The first prototype, Concorde 001, took to the skies on March 2, 1969, from Toulouse, France. After an extensive testing and certification process, the Concorde entered commercial service on January 21, 1976, with simultaneous flights by British Airways and Air France. The production of the Concorde spanned from 1965 to 1979, with a total of 20 aircraft built. The Concorde continued to fly commercially until its retirement on October 24, 2003. The aircraft was designed and built by Aerospatial and BAC. The Concorde was a joint venture between two major aerospace manufacturers, Aerospatial, now part of Airbus, in France and British Aircraft Corporation, BAC, now part of BAE Systems, in the United Kingdom. This transnational collaboration was a pioneering effort, combining the expertise and resources of both countries to create an aircraft that pushed the boundaries of technology and design the sole purpose that it was originally designed for. The Concorde was designed with the primary goal of revolutionizing air travel by offering supersonic passenger flights. Its purpose was to significantly reduce travel times on long-haul routes, making it possible to fly from London to New York in just over three hours, compared to the typical seven to eight hours on subsonic flights. The Concorde aimed to provide a premium travel experience for business and luxury travelers, combining speed with unparalleled comfort and service. It was based primarily in the United Kingdom and France. The Concorde's design, development, and initial production were centered in the United Kingdom and France. The primary production sites were located in Filton, near Bristol in the UK, and Toulouse in France. These sites were responsible for the assembly and testing of the Concorde prototypes and production models. Global Production Footprint while the primary production of the Concorde took place in the UK and France, various components and systems were manufactured by suppliers in multiple countries, making it a truly international project. Notable contributions included United States, several American companies provided avionics and other advanced systems for the Concorde. Canada, Pratt & Whitney Canada was involved in the development of certain engine components. Germany, German manufacturers supplied various high-tech materials and components essential to the aircraft's construction. The Concorde was renowned for its impressive technical specifications and performance capabilities. Here are some key details. Engines, the Concorde was powered by four Rolls-Royce or Snecma Olympus 593 engines, each equipped with afterburners to achieve supersonic speeds. Horsepower, each engine produced approximately 38,050 pounds of thrust, equivalent to around 17,260 horsepower. Speed, the Concorde had a maximum cruising speed of Mach 2.04, approximately 1,354 miles per hour or 2,180 kilometers per hour, more than twice the speed of sound. Range, the aircraft had a range of 3,900 nautical miles, 7,250 kilometers, allowing for non-stop transatlantic flights. Passenger capacity, the typical seating capacity of the Concorde was between 92 to 128 passengers, arranged in a luxurious and spacious cabin layout. Dimensions, the Concorde was 202 feet, 61.66 meters, long, with a wingspan of 84 feet, 25.6 meters, and a height of 40 feet, 12.2 meters. The Concorde incorporated numerous innovative features that set it apart from subsonic aircraft. Delta wing design, the Concorde's sleek delta wing design minimized drag and allowed for efficient supersonic flight. Nose droop, the aircraft's distinctive drooping nose, which could be lowered during takeoff and landing for improved pilot visibility, became one of its most recognizable features. Advanced materials, the Concorde's construction utilized advanced materials such as titanium and high-temperature alloys to withstand the intense heat generated during supersonic flight. Aerodynamic shape, the fuselage was designed to be as aerodynamic as possible, reducing drag and allowing for sustained supersonic speeds. 
engine technology, the Olympus 593 engines were equipped with afterburners and variable intake ramps to optimize performance at different speeds and altitudes. Conclusion The supersonic Concorde remains an enduring symbol of human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of speed and luxury in air travel. Its development and production were a testament to international collaboration and technological innovation. Although retired, the legacy of the Concorde continues to inspire advancements in aviation and the dream of supersonic passenger travel.